Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Moto Mangi. Today I'm at the historic Pool Forge Covered Bridge. I'm going to start here at Pool Forge Covered Bridge and take you to another covered bridge that's really close, about five miles away, five, seven miles away. Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge. Let's get on the road. All right. It's not a far ride, about five miles, seven miles. You can see this family here having a picnic by Pool Forge Covered Bridge. <laughs> they don't look very happy, do they? <laughs> I bet they looked a little mad at each other, to be honest. Yeah, this is a nice spot, Pool Forge Covered Bridge. Gets a lot of visitors. It's a historic site, so it's preserved. It's nice to walk around here and paint the benches and lots of parking. But we are going to another covered bridge today, close by to here. This is PA 23. And we are going to make a right and then a quick left. Once traffic allows, of course. Pool Forge followed by a quick left on the Pool Forge Road. Now why is this road called Pool Forge Road when that's Pool Forge back there? Ah oh well, whatever. We travel down this road for a little bit amongst some Mennonite Amish farm country. Right now it's all cornfields. <laughs> Most of the scenery is hidden behind corn. Now this stop sign would be a left, I believe. It's actually been a long time since I've been with this bridge. So I'm not entirely sure where it is, but I know generally where it is. Look at that, close out in a clothesline. Reminds you of old country, doesn't it? Clothes dryers? Huh, who needs a clothes dryer? We have the wind. The sun in the air. Now, I'm not sure. I think I take this road for a little bit. If I remember right, the bridge is on our right side. I think I turn left of this road, though. I believe I do, yeah. Well, we're going to try it. This road's not in too great a shape. I hope it stays paved. Oh, <laughs> uh, this might be a wrong turn. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just chipped steel or something. Like I said, it's been a while since I've been back to this bridge. I know it's close to Pool Forge. I looked at Google Maps before I left home and I was like, yeah, I remember where that is. But now that I'm riding it, I should have written down directions, I guess, or get my phone out and look at it, but eh, what's the fun of that? I'll explore till I find it. It's here somewhere. I know it's not far from Pool Forge, so if I get too far away from it, I'll just turn around and 
double back. Or get the phone out, one of the two, I guess. Right through a farm. Barn on one side, silos on the other. Oh, let's see. Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge. Where art thou? One lane bridge. That's this big, that's this old modern bridge. It is pretty back here. Now there's a road going to the left, but that's not the right direction. I want to the bridge is off to this way, I remember it. I guess I think I do. Well, I see the stream on my map, so the covered bridge is over that stream. So I kind of think the bridge is up here on the right. Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge, but I'm not 100% I'm not certain. Nice old fencing. Reminds me of Gettysburg. Gettysburg Battlefield. Gettysburg Battlefield is full of those kind of fences. This feels familiar. Weaverland Road. I believe Weaver's Mill is on this road. So I'm turning right here. Ah, there it is. Right ahead of us. Ha ha ha. That was lucky. I just was wandering aimlessly. <laughs> so this here is Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge. About five, 10 minutes from Pool Forge Covered Bridge. We're up PA23. And I'll mark all the roads I took to get here. I'll put a map up so it's clearly marked. All right, I'm gonna park here and walk around this bridge because I haven't been to this bridge in a long time. Where to park is the question. I'm gonna park right here. That's good. It's very scenic here. I parked here in this little roadie into the field, I think, but they're not gonna be taking down corn anytime soon, so I think it'll be all right. A little stream going by here, right down to Weaver's Mill Cover Bridge. Let's walk down and have a look at this bridge. Bunch of bicycles right here. I wonder if there are some Amish kids around here or something. Yeah, Weaver's Mill Cover Bridge is pretty cool. Here's a little plaque given the history of it. All right, let's quick walk through before any cars come. Yeah, not another sturdy bridge. Strong planks. Big Conestoga number two, don't know what that means. Company of Lancaster, Big Conestoga number two, Weaverland Road, Santaville Earl Township. Uh, so kind of a phone number plaque to report damage or something. Let's see how the rafters look underneath it. See how it's built. Well, just like Pool Forge, it's all wooden beams and rafters yet. Still pretty original on Gibson. Ah, oh, there goes a the car. There went a car overhead. <laughs> it's very quiet here with no busy roads nearby our towns right here. Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge was built in 1878. It's 85 feet long and is a single span wooden double burr arch design. The bridge is painted red both inside and out with white on the entrance and exit of both ends which is traditional for Lancaster County covered bridges. It spans the Conestoga River in Lancaster County along Weaverland Road. 
The bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Sites in 1980 and is today a protected historic site. The bridge is in a really scenic spot in Lancaster County, just a few miles north of Goodville, right off Highway 23, out in the middle of nowhere, just farm country all around it for the most part. Very little traffic, lots of Amish and Mennonite people and children walking around and riding bicycles and horse and buggy carts. Very scenic location. And a really nice bridge, very well preserved. Sure is pretty around here. Yep, Weaver's Mill Bridge is in a good spot. You know what? Motor vlogs don't have to be long. I'm gonna end this one here. <laughs> a nice short video showing the viewers a nice covered bridge to come see. So, thanks for watching everyone. I'll take you for our trip through the bridge one more time. Weaver's Bill Cover Bridge. Here's another one that Walton PA hasn't done a video on yet. So there you go, Walt. Have at it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. At the time I recorded this video, it was the last week of August 2022. And at this time, Walton PA had not done a motor vlog on Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge. <laughs> Now, I was just here poking a little bit of fun at Walton, PA. Walton, PA is another motor vlogger, by the way, uh, here in Pennsylvania. Local to me, actually. Walt and I actually motor vlog a lot of the same roads and areas, uh, pretty commonly, actually. But he's kind of become known in the motor vlogging community as the covered bridge guy. Uh, he does a lot of motor vlogs about covered bridges, and that's awesome because covered bridges are great. But I thought I had found a covered bridge that Walt hadn't done. And at this point, he hadn't done a motor vlog on this bridge. So I was kind of proud about that a little bit. I found a covered bridge Walt hadn't motor vlogged about yet. But in between the last week of August and the time this motor vlog has gone live, <laughs> Walt has done a motor vlog on Weaver's Mill Covered Bridge. <laughs> I'll uh, put a link to the video up here in the corner. Or this corner. I'm not sure where it'll be on the screen, but one of these two corners have a pop up with a thumbnail for Walt's video. So if you want to see another motor vlog about Weaver's Mill Cover Bridge, check out Walt's video. Congrats, Walt. You beat me. <laughs> Should have known better. Yeah, well. Back to the video. So who says motor vlogs have to be long, right? Come on, and this one here. Making a nice short motor vlog. No fluff, no padding, no nothing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. The usual rigmarole. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Take care. Ride safe. See you next time. Shortest motor vlog ever. <laughs>